Hello everybody, this is Pastor Tom welcoming you to another study in the Word. Today we're going to do our 29th session on all things deliverance or ongoing deliverance. And we're going to do actually, uh, the, the 29th one will be a prayer one, where we're going to go through different uh, uh, demonic influences and break them uh, with prayer for you. And uh, so I'm just going to ask you to pray along with me, basically. Today... I would like to deal with one certain area called bitterness, but before we get into that, I want you to know we do have our website, faithalifefellowship.org, which has free seminars on it, it has uh, also our other YouTube page and media pages, that's faithalifefellowship.org. You can also donate there, safe PayPal donation. Also, I would like to say that if you would subscribe to this, I'd really appreciate it. And go to our playlist, because in our playlist, we have all of the different types of videos concerning different subjects. As an example, Ongoing Deliverance has things relating to deliverance. We have one on healing, communion. We've got uh, uh, just, uh, I think, about 40 of them going. More in-depth Bible studies, most of them. This is uh, this one today we're going to actually pray. So that's uh, up at the su subscription there you'll see, uh, uh, and then you look up the play, playlist, excuse me, <clears throat> and you just go on there, and there's a different playlist. But today we're going to uh, uh, minister to you uh, about bitterness. Many people caught in a trap of bitterness. There is a strong spirit, a strong man called bitterness, I believe, that really uh, has uh, much to do with, with uh, different areas. Uh, where you find bitterness, many times you'll find resentment that that cause the bitterness, hatred that uh, that sprang up because of uh, something that happened that might be there. That's also unforgiveness. Many times goes along with this bitterness because uh, not forgiving eventually will lead to bitterness. Uh, violence, which uh, moves off of the hatred part, temper, sometimes anger. We'll go along with it, retaliation and murder even. So all of these things really line up with this strong man called bitterness that we would like to minister today, as well as these other areas. So, Father, we just right now come into agreement. The Bible says that if two of us shall agree on earth as touching anything we ask, it shall be done for them by our Father which is in heaven. So I come into agreement with my brothers and sisters that are watching this and to those that are pray, playing praying along with us. We come into agreement, Lord, for a release from these demonic powers that may be harassing somebody inside of somebody, maybe in their mind, maybe in their physical body, maybe just harassing people. But Lord God, first of all, when the area of bitterness and resentment and hatred and unforgiveness and violence and temper and anger and retaliation and murder, we pray right now and we, by faith, we release anybody from that uh, has ever harmed us. We forgive all those who have wronged us in any way in Jesus' name. We, any anything that let these evil spirits in any activity, we repent of, we release these people, we refuse to be bitter anymore, offended anymore in any way, shape, or form. And Father, anything that's caused uh, these evil spirits to come in, Lord, we thank you that that is now taken care of. And so, Father, Jesus said we must first bind the strong man. So we do that. We take authority over the strong man of bitterness and all of the lesser spirits of resentment, hatred, unforgiveness, violence, temper, anger, retaliation, and murder. And according to the word of God, by the finger of God, we speak to them and command them to come out and leave these people down to go from them in Jesus' name. We loose them in Jesus' name. And we ask you, Lord God, and thank you for setting them free. We just give you praise, Lord, for setting them free right now from these specific things in Jesus' name. Father, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Now, you begin to praise and worship God. That's one of the greatest ways to obtain a deliverance and freedom from demonic powers is by praising and thanking the Lord for your freedom. Even if the symptoms of that are remaining, if you praise and worship God long enough, it'll break and leave you. 
and you'll begin to rejoice, realizing that you're free. Never again to be in the clutches of bitterness because of any of these type of things. No more re resentment, no more hatred or unforgiveness, no more violence, no more temper, no more anger, no more retaliation, and uh, uh, no more murder and the spirit of murder in you. In Jesus' name. And Father, we thank you for authority in Jesus. Whatsoever we bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. Whatsoever we loose on earth shall be loose in heaven. You said unto us again, I say unto you, that if two of us agree on earth is touching anything we ask, it shall be done. Behold, he has given unto us power and authority to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. And nothing shall by any means harm us in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, for setting people free. Well, I know I know this is a short, these are short prayers. They're not meant to be long. It's just dealing with these particular subjects. There's not a whole lot of teaching involved in this. It's just prayer. So if this has been a blessing to you, share it with people. You'd be surprised at how many testimonies I get back from these videos. Uh, people have been set free by the videos. They've been healed by the videos. Uh, tremendous deliverances through these videos. People have been saved and filled with the Holy Spirit through these videos, you name it, and taught. So share them with your friends. That's how they get around. I appreciate that very much if you'll do that. And always remember this. Feed your faith. Starve your doubts to death. Until next time, God bless you.